This video will go over 10 curious items that appeared in WoW's game files at one point or another, but never actually made it to the live version of the game. First up we've got the Water Wings. Water Wings are a pair of gloves that appear in the game files around the beta for Warlords of Draenor. The cloth gloves have a unique effect of passively increasing your swim speed as well as having an on-use ability to super leap, but only if you're swimming. In the quest that supposedly gives you the gloves, called Elwyn Long Distance Trial 25, details having to hit markers and going through an arc in under 25 bail tolls, which was probably just a unit of time measurement for this specific trial. The whole thing sounds very similar to the Darkmoon Fair Time trial that has you go around and hit a bunch of markers in under a certain amount of time as well. And since the Darkmoon race came out in the same expansion that this showed up in the game files, it's pretty safe to assume this particular quest was dropped and just implemented into the Darkmoon Fair instead, with the gloves just scrapped as well. It could also be that Blizzard is just hesitant to put any kind of swimming challenges in the game because of the heavy backlash from Vashir, all the way back in Cataclysm. Whatever the case, it's a shame because the gloves seem like a lot of fun. The Dim Torch This item was originally supposed to be crafted by the scrapped survival profession, which was also supposed to make the campfire. When the profession was scrapped, they simply added the campfire to cooking and scrapped the torch idea. What's interesting about this never implemented torch, as compared to other torches you can get in game, is that it had a limited duration mimicking that of what a real-life torch might have, and had a party-wide buff like the campfire does. The campfire has always given a pretty minor buff, and still does to this day, one of the few minor flavor mechanics still in the game. So it's interesting to see that they had plans to put these kinds of minor buffs on other things as well. There's also some speculation that some zones were going to be dark and would require a torch to navigate. If that were the case, then this torch would have also probably been part of that mechanic. And since that mechanic was never implemented, it's a no wonder this torch wasn't either. The Thieven's Kit This item was most likely just an early version of Thieves' Tools, an item which did make it into the game and was required by rogues in order to use lockpicking or disarm traps. Many classes back in the day required a bunch of items to use their abilities, and rogues were no exception. They needed Thieves' Tools to do their thieving work, poisons for their weapons, which they had to brew themselves, vanishing powder to use vanish, and blinding powder to use blind. But slowly as time went on, Blizzard removed these requirements one by one, to today where they don't need any special items to do anything, just like pretty much every other class. A convenience for sure, but many argue that it takes away from the fantasy of the class. That of course doesn't have anything to do with the Thieven's kit, since it was never implemented. In Dalamar's Holy Hand Grenades. These are two artifact quality items, one with no effect, and the other with the on-use effect of blesses all targets with a holy infusion of power, or curses them with the bane of all raiders. Since most artifact quality items are just simply test items, it's no wonder they didn't make it into the game. What they were used to test though seems to be a mystery, though it was most likely just a joke item. Blizzard likes to do that sometimes. The grenade's namesake, Indalamar, I don't know if I'm saying that right, comes from the name of a beta tester for Blizzard who showed everyone how overpowered warriors were when everyone cried that they were underpowered, which led to warriors being nerfed almost immediately. But he was then eventually hired by Blizzard to be an itemization developer slash specialist because of this. He also has several other items in game with his name spelled backwards, and even has his own TCG card named after him. The item is also most likely a reference to the Holy Grenade from Monty Python, and was even speculated to be needed to kill a Darkmoon Rabbit when it was first being introduced, as they both are from the same movie and involved in the same scene. The Iron Bell Spirits This was a toy item that would simply allow you to throw a mug of Iron Belly Spirits at a target to raise their spirits for one minute a novelty item with no real useful effect, just like most toys. The item was supposed to be reward from the quest Raising Spirits in the Town Long Steps, in which you went around giving beer to Dusklight soldiers. Since the quest was cut from the game, the item it rewarded was never implemented either. The Mysterious Flower This toy item, with an unknown effect, was supposed to be reward from doing a hidden quest, which was supposed to be unlocked, after finding all of the mysterious flowers in all of the zones of Draenor. 
but all of the flowers were removed at launch. Except the one in Talador for some reason. All the way until patch 6.2, you could find the flower in Talador, which would start a fully functional event. The event for all zones were different, with the theme of a mysterious orc coming out and harassing nearby Iron Horde members. The events, flower, and orc are all probably references to the Flower Picker Clan, an easter egg clan from Warcraft 2. According to Wowpedia, the Flower Picker Clan was an easter egg in Warcraft 2, Beyond the Dark Portal. It was the stored name for the Blue Orc, Player 2. The Blue Orc slot was never used in a campaign mission as an active player, so the name never appeared in-game. But the text string for its title still appeared in the game's data files. Since screenshots of the mysterious orc from Mod's beta show it wearing robes with lots of blue colors on it, it's a pretty safe assumption to make that it was a direct reference to the Flower Picker Clan Easter Egg. Now, as to why it was removed when it seems like most of the events were already working, is a mystery, just like all of the stuff removed from that expansion. Brazzy's Gnomish Pleasure Device this item has the effect of infuses the user with 1000 megavolts of pure gnomish pleasure, and has the flavor text of, if you get caught with this, I don't know you. While the item is not in the game, the NPC who would most likely sell it, called Brazzy Gets, is in the game, and is a vendor inside ICC, who only sells to Alliance players. One of the items he sells is called Brazzy's Black Book of Secrets, which costs about 22,000 gold. And in it is five books, all about advice on dating the women of the different races of the Alliance. He also has dialogue options hinting that he might have some non-legal things for sale. Like a pleasure device, maybe? It seems all the steps to put the item in the game were there. It's just Blizzard decided not to include it, for whatever reason. Knowledge Rogue Items there were a series of knowledge rogue item recipes which would teach you how to disguise yourself as various different people and creatures from around the world. It was most likely related to a scrapped disguise mechanic that rogues might have had, since being able to dress up and pretend to be something else is a staple rogue fantasy trope. All of the disguises require some type of cloth, plus a random clothing piece. For example, the dark iron dwarf disguise required wool cloth plus dark iron leather. The Defiance disguise required a red Defiance mask and linen cloth. All the other knowledge pieces went along the same vein. The Deprecated Cowardly Flight Potion This potion used to have the effect of making the person who used it run away from nearby enemies in random directions, similar to how fear makes you run all over the place. In fact, it was basically just a potion that put the fear effect on you. The item was later changed in an unknown patch to just do nothing. It also has a recipe in the game files for alchemists to make the potion, called Recipe, Cowardly Flight Potion. Now, as to why it was never put into the game is a mystery. It's a pretty useless item, so it's not really a big deal. But if you really want to make yourself run around like you're feared, I guess you're out of luck, since these items have been in the game files since vanilla, so it's probably not going to make it to live anytime soon, especially after they removed its effect. Powerful Smelling Salts This item was a first aid item which had the effect of bringing a dead player back to life with 15% health and mana. An incredibly useful effect that would have been great for all classes to have and not just healers. And that's probably why it was never implemented. There was another item that was put into the game with a similar effect called the Goblin Jumper Cables. It was an engineering only item that had like a 33% chance to bring a player back to life with low health and mana, just like the smelling salts. And jumper cables absolutely saw use, even with it being restricted to a major profession and only having a low chance at bringing people back to life. I guess they thought giving everyone better jumper cables would devalue engineering. Or it was just too powerful an effect for Blizzard at the time. There was also a recipe for it in the game files, but since the item was never added, neither was a recipe. The smelling salts effect was removed from the item's data in an unknown patch, meaning it's probably never going to be in the game. And lastly, one bonus item, the Snurf Gun. This item appeared in the files with Warlords of Draenor's beta, and seemed to be a crafted item with a cosmetic effect of putting some kind of buff on other players, 
Considering Draenor brought with it a building with tons of random engineering-like items for use in Draenor, plus more fun items like all expansions add for engineering, there are many reasonable places it could have been planned for. The item is an obvious reference to Nerf guns, toy guns that shoot foam darts, so it could have been cool to have a toy like that in WoW for having fake gunfights. <laughs>